Hey Virgo, thank you so much for coming to your love reading. This should resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Those of you that are cross-watching, welcome. It can be your situation or your partner's. It kind of just depends. All right, let's hop into your reading. All right, how does Virgo's person of interest feel about that? Or, sorry, that's the extended. I apologize. I'm looking at the extended, uh, <laughs> the extended questions. I apologize. Okay. What's the overall energy for love and romance for Virgo? What's the overall energy for love and romance for Virgo? Okay, Eight of Cups. Some of you guys may be dealing with the Pisces. Um, or somebody that has a Saturn in Pisces. Um, who is Virgo's person of interest romantically? Who is Virgo's person of interest romantically? What's their energy? What's their energy? Okay, nine of wands. How does Virgo feel about this person romantically? How does Virgo feel about their person romantically? Four of cups. What's the overall situation between these two? What's the overall situation between these two romantically? The High Priestess. Jeez, what the hell, Virgo? And what's the best potential outcome for these two romantically? What's the best potential outcome here for these two romantically? Calling in your soulmate. Okay. So, I am going to say this. <laughs> I, I feel like this, um, for some reason, there's something here about keeping an open mind when it comes to this situation. There's also something here about judging or, um, being judgmental and, and it can be about a multitude of things. However, I, I, I just feel like you have, there's something here about judging, whether that's unconsciously or whether that's subconsciously, consciously, but when we judge people, th there is a level of fear that comes with that, right? Um, there, there sometimes is painful judgments of ourself or of the other person or of the relationship in general. And I feel like this is causing a level of out of balance between you and this person. And it's building up walls. It's creating possibly a separation because obviously with the Eight of Cups here, um, somebody is walking away from a situation that they really do love and care about. I don't know if it's you or your partner yet, but this is what I'm getting. Now, when this same thing is being done, but it's like, being done in judged in the right way with all the facts and that type of thing that's when there's a level of healing that comes which i feel like virgo for some reason i also feel like you're healing i just did um aquarius's reading and they had a heavy energy around healing and i feel like you do too but there's something here that's a need for a level of forgiving again and again and also like really incorporating or or understanding that you have to be careful with how you judge somebody you or your partner like there's something here about this relationship being judged or this relationship um like somebody's perspective on it it's it, it's it, it's not a positive one and i feel like things are changing i don't know if your current situation was one where it ended and now things are changing. Maybe you're trying to rekindle it. I'm not sure, but let's figure this shit out. Eight of Cups, obviously something is being walked away from, um, being left behind, something that was very significant, right? There's a lot of cups here. So there's a lot of emotions behind what's, what's being left behind. And it's a journey that I feel like right now where it hurts at first, right? But... 
it's also about regaining a level of compassion, right? Um, Saturn and Pisces, that's a very compassionate energy. But also too, Virgo, you have to be careful because with the Eight of Cups, there's also something here about somebody drifting away by themselves and it's a level of self-destruction. It's also feeling like the underdog. Um, and some of you may be dealing with addictions or phobias or enduring some type of harsh experience, I feel like this month, or you're walking away from that. Maybe that happened in um, April. What is, what's being walked away from? The Page of Pentacles. Okay, so sometimes I take that as Virgo. What are they walking towards? What's being, wa what's walking? Temperance, balance. Here's how I feel like. I feel like this. I think that Virgo, you had to put your foot down with somebody I feel like the energy is you're walking away from this page of pentacles, which is somebody that's not offering enough, right? Let's say like you have been in a relationship for a couple of years with somebody and they still haven't said, I love you. They still haven't had that love feeling yet. Right. And this is just an example. Or you've been with them for a few years dating and they don't want to move. You know, that's all that they want. That's that page of pentacles. That's walking away from it. That's saying, Hey, I deserve more than this page of pentacles and I'm not putting up with that shit. It's also to this person saying, okay, I like you. I, I want to explore this, right? This is blossoming. I'm just not there yet. Like this is just the beginning for you. It's like, no, I'm leaving that behind. And for me, temperance is a level of healing. Temperance is a level of being grounded. And I feel like that is needed here because there is a lot of confusion Seven of seven of cups. There's a uh, Scorpio Venus. There's there's a lot of confusion here. I feel like it's confusion about what makes you happy. Like now, I, I feel like this month it's really look. Here's Nine of Pentacles. There's Virgo Venus. Venus and Virgo with the Sun. There's Leo. Um, whatever you've been going back and forth about. Because obviously you are, right, with the Seven of Cups, trying to figure out what's the best way. I feel like for you, it's it's what makes you happy. What makes Virgo happy here? What brings you a level of abundance? That Nine of Pentacles, that's beautiful, right? For me, every time um, I'm doing a reading for myself and I ask how somebody views me or whatever, usually I come up as the Nine of Pentacles, and I like that because that's somebody that has a lot of abundance. This is somebody who wants to make a relationship work, but as long as it makes logical sense and also physical sense, and it makes this person happy, it's, believe it or not, it, it's about a level of abundance. However, for me, the abundance comes not in a physical form all the time, but it comes in like gifts of commitment and devotion and something very sensitive. Um, when it comes to love, and I feel like for you, the sun with the with the nine of pentacles, I just feel like there's a level of healing here about what's best for you and also your happiness. Because I feel like you're tired of going back and forth, either with a, you know, for some of you guys, it's a water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer, or even a Leo, that may be sun, moon, rising, or Venus. But I feel like this is getting back in the phase of you kind of talking, taking time with your friends, moving on, being happily single, okay? Um, having fun and really living in the moment. That's what I'm getting here. And I feel like this. I feel like when you take the chance to completely separate from this situation and you take a risk and you're very strategic, I feel like there's some big connection that comes in that isn't that is an eternal connection so now we have the nine of wands for your person of interest this is um it's funny because i think the nine of wands is moon and moon and um sag and it's funny with the moon and sag it's like the person's energy is coming off as one that needs a little bit of personal space and freedom 
It's also an energy that's very happy and easygoing until they're caged in. They don't like to be caged in. They don't like to be told what to do. But I do feel like you and this person have been through quite a lot. I feel like there's been a level of communication um, or lack thereof. And it's putting this person in this nine of wands. But believe it or not, your person still feels like, like they're still very optimistic that everything is going to work out between you and them. Look, here you are, Knight of Pentacles. Okay, they're optimistic that things are going to work out between you and them. Virgo, Knight of Pentacles, Virgo, Gemini. Um, one card here, please. One more card here for this person's overall energy towards Virgo, which was a relationship. Two of Wands. This person, too, Virgo, may be waiting for you to reach out to them. Or, I'm going to be honest, this person also could have more than one person here because we do have the two of wands, um, which is Mars and Aries. And that was wanted to be clarified by the lovers, but let me, let me keep going. Why are you showing me the two of wands with the Knight of Pentacles here for the overall energy? With the devil, how does Virgo feel about this? How does Virgo feel about this? Yeah, see, here's the thing. I feel like this. I feel like for you, this person, I feel like they may even have somebody else. But there's something here that they're doing that you don't like. The devil's here. That That is an energy that's like, and I always ask, what's the energy of the devil or how you'd feel about this devil energy? And it's the seven of wands. You, you would block it, right? That's Mars and Leo. So I feel like for you, that would make you very angry because for you, you'd want to be able to stay in power here. But I feel like with the devil here in this two of wands, it's like this person is taking the power for you, but it, from you, but in a way where it's underhanded. I also feel like for you, Virgo, like that's you coming in and saying, no, you need to, I, I demand a level of loyalty. I demand to be treated right. I demand this, I demand that, you know, it's, it's really putting your foot down and saying like, you're not going to humiliate me. I'm not going to be out here looking like a whole fool. If that's the case, we can end this shit. For some of you guys, this person may be having an affair at work. I'm going to be honest. Maybe dealing with a Capricorn, Aquarius, um, Taurus or Leo or even Scorpio is coming in. What's this person's overall energy with love and romance? What's this person's overall energy with love and romance when it comes to Aquarius? I mean, not Aquarius, Virgo. Girl with the snake. Empath, narcissist, being charmed, being used, enabling boundaries. It's interesting here that they're coming in with the Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands, like I said, that's Moon and Sag. Sag doesn't like to have any boundaries. You, you may be dealing with the Sag, to be honest. This person doesn't like any boundaries, and I feel like right now there there is a very empathic and narcissistic type of energy. One person is giving. One person is constantly taking. One person needs to enable a level of boundaries because somebody continues to take and take and take and take. Whoa, Jesus. Yeah, I also feel like, I don't know why, but I feel like there's a relationship at work that's going on where there is there was like a level of seduction or attraction or flirting, hooking up. There's some type of temptation or third party that I feel like this person has. I don't know why I'm telling you that, but I'm telling you it for a reason. How you feel about them, the four cups with the eight of swords. I mean, obviously this isn't good. Obviously you feel like it's not enough. Obviously you feel like this, this is a situation that is close to being over. Also too, with the eight of swords here, I feel like you're really in your head and this is something that's bogging you down because it's like, what are they offering them? Like, I feel like what are they, what am I not? Like, what about me isn't good enough where this person can't offer me the same? It's also, too, it's like, with the Eight of Swords here, you know, 
that's an energy and that's um, Jupiter and Gemini. That's trying to figure out exactly how this works. Can you get out of the situation? Is this something that even has the potential of expanding um, with this person? But again, you have the Six of Pentacles here. The Six of Pentacles for me is a more than one person card. This is somebody who's giving to more than one person. Some of you definitely can be dealing with a Taurus or somebody that has a Saturn in Taurus. Um, I feel like for you, when it comes to this person, especially giving to more than one person, right? Because that's what it means for me. There's a level of rebalancing that needs to happen, which is probably why I kept getting that judge energy. Um, a level of rebalancing to do what's right, but it's interesting because there's something here where you're very cautious with how you're proceeding. Also, too, it's interesting to me. Oh, six. I'm sorry. This isn't Saturn and Taurus. This is moon and Taurus. You see how there's like kind of like a lot of moon energy. You have moon in um, moon in Sag, moon in Cancer, moon in Taurus. There's a lot of hidden um, hidden actions, hidden emotions, and hidden physical things that are going on around you. I feel like you're in your head with whether or not this can be a safe, solid connection. Can this work? Right? But I also feel like, you know, you can't push this person to do anything. You know? And I feel like for you, it's like part of you is still hanging on to this person, even when there is conflict. And even when, like, even if you guys break up, that's not easy. That doesn't happen. And it's, it's hard to let go of. Because for you, there's a level of routine and consistency. Even though you're a mutable sign, you still need routine and consistency. And I feel like with this person, you don't like what they're doing. I feel like they're sneaking around behind the scenes. There's the Sag energy again with the Seven of Swords. There's something here that this person is not telling you. Something that they're letting out, leaving out about either their home situation, what's currently going on at work. But for me... The Seven of Swords, that's somebody that's only giving a certain amount of information. It's kind of like, um, it's kind of like the mental breadcrumbing, especially for like a Virgo or a Gemini because we're, you know, we're Mercury. So I feel like it's like fucking with your head. And it's funny because check this out. The Seven of Swords, that's also Moon and Aquarius. So again, there's just a lot of hidden agendas. And for me, it's a lot of hidden actions. The fact that we have the moon in every, uh, you have wands here with the moon, you have pentacles here, swords here and cups here. This, this, this is a very hidden or a very secret type of situation, a very secret type of relationship. What's being hidden is the fact that somebody's really upset. I feel like, Virgo, you're maybe not telling them how upset you really are about the situation. And I also feel like, too, there's a level of loneliness and feeling like, man, I, I'm never going to be able to find somebody. It's also feeling, you know, emotionally blocked or distant from this person and being very stubborn. How does Virgo feel romantically towards their person of interest? The snake. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious, looking over your shoulder, and the other woman. So we have girl with the snake over here with how your person's energy is coming in and how you feel about this person as a snake. So logically speaking... Obviously, your partner is the one that's doing something that's fucked up. And I feel like, I'm going to be honest, I feel like it's time for you to leave this situation because I, I think that this, this something is here is over. There's a level of growth and transformation that needs to happen. I just don't know if it happens with this person. Why is the High Priestess here for... Um, the current situation, high priestess with the 10 of pentacles, there's uh, Mercury and Virgo. I feel like somebody's hiding their home situation. Somebody possibly could have lied and hid from actually you Virgo that you found out. 
um, that they were lying about their home situation, about a family, about kids, about a wife, about a husband. Somebody was definitely lying here. Queen of Swords, the world, there's Libra um, or Cancer. I feel like somebody said that they were going to leave the situation behind, and I don't think that they did. I think that they stayed. What do you want me to tell um, Virgo about this? Five of Wands. There's a lot of fighting going on here. I just think that this this isn't, um, honestly, I don't think that it's a very healthy situation. I also feel like somebody is not expressing how they feel or they're not expressing how angry they are right now. But somebody is very, very angry. Yeah, I said in my head, what's the overall situation between these two? And it's heartbroken, deeply sad, hurt, separation, breaking, breaking up, feeling lost, grieving and mourning. Here's the crazy thing, though, is that's also paired with sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, okay? Even though there was a breakup here, I feel like you're both watching each other. I feel like there is going to be a conversation that you and this person have because, believe it or not, I do feel like your person is just, it, just as upset as you are because I do think you two are mirroring each other as far as emotionally is concerned. But there's definitely something weird here about what's being hidden. There's a lot of hidden energy. There's a lot of secrets. There's a lot that's not being said, a lot that's not being shown. And I think that that's the issue between the two of you. With that being said, I love you guys, and um, I will talk to you guys soon. Peace.